You are welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, let us understand how to build online bookstore. So this is an ASP.NET C Sharp project and here I'll demonstrate how we can make this complete project and how user can buy the books online. So in order to build a web application, there are four major technologies. One is ASP.NET. The other one is Java JSP with Tomcat server. The next one is uh, PHP, MySQL, and XAMPP server. And then Python with the XAMPP server. Or you can use the third party frameworks like uh, Django frameworks. So we can build the web application using the Python. But anyway, we focus on uh, uh, this project basically on ASP.NET. Let's understand what is ASP.NET and how do we do this. So this online shopping is not today's. Uh, kind of project it from very long time amazon.com launched its online shopping site in 1995 so it's almost 25 years back from that time we are building online applications now question is uh, whether we need to do this project again so definitely yes because uh, we, we don't need one or two website but we required even for small small business we require online presence so therefore even small business people asked to sell the, their product online not with amazon but they want to make their own so what is the advantage if they make their own so they don't need to pay commission to the amazon or flipkart or any other companies so therefore this trend is keep improving because what are the product they have they would like to sell by themselves in that case so we required uh, like you no know, programmers to manage the individual businesses there are different businesses you know, according to their requirement we need to build online businesses so therefore there is still a lot of opportunities a lot of choice are available and also a lot of companies are coming out with new, new ideas with the online selling therefore you always have the choices uh, to make online online product selling online business all options are very much open so therefore you can concentrate there is nothing wrong right so now if you're looking for the job you need an experience you can see that everywhere jobs are available but so you required an experience without experience getting job is very difficult Therefore, practically you should know like how to write the program. So this video will help you to understand like how you can write the program. Then watch the complete video then understand like how to make the complete video by yourself. If you write the program, then only you know what is the problem, what are the difficulties, what is the kind of errors you are getting. So all you need to solve. So just watching the video will not serve the purpose. But if you want to get a good job, you need to practice and you need to learn and you need to make your the whole coding by yourself. Then you know in and out of the coding and then you know like how you can write the complete program that easy for you to execute it and easy for to get the job so here for online bookstore we are using visual studio and thus we are using asp.net that is the technology what is asp.net stands for is a asp is a active server pages net even net is a very old technology but it's keep on improving day to day basis in this uh, c shop is a new language um, new in the sense even it's almost 10 years old so we can use this eShop language and then we can build the application here okay let us look at like what we can do in this project what are the things we can add up so that we'll understand so is an online store as you know there are two modules we can make so one is admin module the other one is a user module or customer module so what admin can do is they can log in they can go to main page here they can create the category product category so category then after that you then need to do, enter the product details product details so once you have the product details then here we provide one card as a purchase also so we can purchase the product right so once you purchase now user can sign up here right sign up after that they can log in then they can go to main page here they can browse the product so they can check for the product they can add cart so what are the product is there you can add to cart then finalize the cart okay what are the products you want you can finalize the cart then view orders so what are the orders you place you can able to view it so therefore here one two three four five six seven pages seven or eight pages here so in this case now user list who are the users that list has to come because admins know who are the users then the order list what are the order placed that list has to be 
seen here. So therefore, admin can know like what are the orders. Then we provide one card as a stock. So what is the available stock? Once is sold, what is left with us? That is also we can able to see it here. So we'll all, we'll see all this. So I'll show the demo in Visual Studio. Then you'll get a more idea. So but these are the options which you need to provide for an online store. So let's look at the demo. So here is a Visual Studio, and you have opened the project. This is online shopping, and here are the files. So these are the files, and you can look at the database here. So this is online sales database. If we expand this, we have a table. So here are the tables which you are using in this project. Okay. So let us run this project. Okay, so straight away we'll go to some other page. Okay. Let me start from the beginning. Okay. So I'll use the edge here. Fine. So this is online bookstore. Here the two part. One is a user part. One is the admin part. First, let us move to the admin part. So we can log into admin. So this is admin, then admin. So here these are the options which are provided in the admin. So category, we can create the categories. So you can see that list. So here we are uh, computer books, physics books, general comics book, and all. So you want to create one more category. You have to go to category name. Then you have to create the category. Here. Okay, let's say you want to create as a GK books, general non-edge books. So when you click save, the record should be saved. Now if you go to list, so you can see that GK is already here. So we provide a proper navigation. Therefore, you can go to the entry. Once the entry is over, you can able to see the display. Then you can come back to main page. So see to it like the navigation should be order. So this is an admin side. Okay. So next is item or product. So here you can enter the thing. So uh, GK quiz book. Okay. So next here is the type. So is the GK and what is the price? So this cost around uh, 225 rupees. Then you can click save. So the record is saved. You go to display list and you can see that here it is entered. So you can go back to main menu. Now here is a supplier. Who are all the supplier to supply the book to us? If I go to display list, there are already some suppliers here. So therefore, let it be there enough. So next is the customer. Customer are the one who will going to join, and we can also supply books to the customers. And here is a display list. We can see the customers here. So there is a purchase here. So you can see that is online purchase. So we have. Uh, Buying from A1 uh, supplier and uh, what are the bill they give? We can enter the bill number here. And here I want to buy GK books. The price will come, and this hundred books will buy, but we'll not buy at 225 rupees. We'll buy at 150 rupees. So we can click add. So if there are more products, we can add more products too. Then we can save. Now if you go to stock report here, so you can see that GK is equal to 100. The 100 is balance. So here is the sales report. Whatever is sold, that we can able to see it here. So now in order to see the sales, so you see from the customer side, customer has to buy that one. So let us go as a customer. So here is a user sign up. Okay, let's sign up as a A5. Uh, let's take something like Arun. Then, so mobile number. So I'll take this one only. So you can enter the email ID. Then you can sign up here. So sign up is over. Then you can log in here. So it come to main page here. So you can see the view cart and here are the products available. So you can choose the category you want. So you can see there is one book here. You can select this. So it will come here to enter the quantity. Here. So I want two books of it. Add. Then if you go to view cart, it is list over there. Two books, 50 rupees. We can confirm. So okay, session ID. Okay. Now it's confirmed. So order is done. Now admin has to see this one. So therefore, if you go to sales report. So you can see that uh, that is A5 
uh, quiz book two numbers this is the total number so it's reflecting in the admin also so this is a basic level project uh, there is not much there so mini project so therefore uh, try this so if you are completed then later you can able to improve this so if you look at the coding some basic coding i'll just show you let's say stock report so you want to show the stock report here so here is the code here is the database connection so first you select the product name so individual product name then we will create a table row for that we are adding the one row here then second row third row fourth row like this so these are the columns right product name input quantity sold or balance quantity from the database again we select the sum of quantity from transaction tab where transaction type is equal to one that means purchase so if the transaction type is two or three means it is a sales so two from the direct sales three from the online sales so then we'll add that to the row then we'll add the table to the grid so therefore it will show it on the grid view so this is a logic behind it but we have separate videos like how to start how to write the program by yourself step by step so please watch some more videos and then learn how to make the complete program okay thank you